Okay, as far as rings go, get the rings that belong to number one. All right, put the old distribution ring in. And then, we put the oil sealing ring in. These ones are pretty flexible. Usually just run those over like that. These oil rings have like a little recess on them, so as easy it would be to put these in first. You won't have much success doing that. Then we get the second ring, this is a scraper ring. These are unidirectional, so and to only go one way. This one goes with the N200. Up. Oh. You can see that? Look there. Just get them in your fancy Repco pliers. And see the ring in. Yeah. Let me get the primary ring. that is the rings installed I'll go ahead and do the rest This stage you want to put your Conrad shells in. These are, these are slightly oversized. This uh, engine required a little bit of machining. So same as the mains. Squeeze them in, don't push them in. Alright, so as far as getting this in, so the installation requires the recommended installation requires the rings to be offset from each other, so requires them to be sort of 90, 90 degrees from each other, so I'll just mark the pistons and uh, make sure that it's all going to go together properly. Rightio, after much faffing around, I found my ring compressor. I just used one of these little things. Uh, it served me pretty well. I'm used to it. So what we want to do is some oil over this nice cotton rag on the inside of this. I'm going to put some so that bore as well. It's always time for a lube. I do get our rings in the right orientation, piston marked, so we can put it together properly. Slide that over there and get this tool. make sure there's a bit of skirt left hanging out. Then we bring it over to the motor. See it in there. Make sure that's all good. 
to make sure it's all prepped. You got a hammer. And then two, three, four. So once we've got all those pushed in, just uh, put our end caps on. And uh, obviously uh, we wanna put a bit of lube on there everywhere. All right, so I've got the water pump and the oil pump on. We're using a boundary oil pump for this one. Uh, the um, guy owns the motor. Uh, forked out for a good oil pump. These motors are known to have a few oiling issues. So that should sort that. Uh, periodically turning the motor still uh, to test it and it's, uh, yeah, it's all good. So this uh, girdle plate doesn't actually fit with the ARP fasteners, so I'm just gonna have to modify this as well. The head of the studs kind of like sits proud, stops this from going down like across everything. So I'm gonna just have to like uh, cut it and um, yeah, relieves some of the some of the space on it. Okay, you can see up here, sort of where I've relieved the girdle up here and like inside here as well. That one went all the way across. I've got a bit of cleaning to do. Don't want this kind of stuff inside your brand new motor. That's for damn sure. If anyone's out there who's uh, <laughs> built motors before and any aspiring engine builders, you know that the motor comes first. Obviously, I had a bit of camera issues there and uh, sort of battery went flat, uh, ran out of memory at the same time. But the most important thing is getting it down, getting the job done. So I've done uh, one torque cycle now and uh, I have to do two more at 65 uh, foot pounds as per the ARP instructions and like I said earlier you always got to have these on handy I just print out every single one of them and uh, keep them on hand keep them with all all the engine bits and all your building materials and, and stuff like that so I'll go ahead and do the other two torque sequences now
Carry them into tighten the studs down. Double check your work. 65. You want to do like like we did before with the with the mains. You want the you want the studs bottomed out, but the nuts like a little bit higher so the nuts are loose, so that you know those those studs have gone all the way and they have like correct engagement. Otherwise, you you might be at. Uh, less than your full engagement and you won't be using all the all the thread that you need so 65 good to go last one There we have it, it's all down. If you get in a rhythm and speed wrench it, well, I left out all the exciting bits for you. So I went in, put the timing belt on, took the cam pulleys up, uh, put the intake on, put the fuel rail on, all that sort of sort of stuff. Just nipped everything up in general. I'm sure if you've made it this far in the video, then you either uh, uh, knew how that stuff goes together or you didn't really need the technical information on all the bolt torques and stuff That's uh, that's pretty uh, pretty easy stuff. Um, so now pretty much uh, the exhaust side has to go on and um, Yeah, throw it in the car and uh, turn it tight And thanks for watching Okay, gentlemen and gentle friends I did promise earlier in the video that I would reveal the cause of the uh, chicken not making the egg. So I did mention these heads are rather soft and as a result of that a lot of the bolts come undone. Now I've had to helicoil this bolt and the whole exhaust side because uh, it's very well known for these exhaust studs to back out on themselves and it was definitely happening to this motor so it definitely has a soft head so helicoil this one. So when we when we pulled it down I went to take the bolt out of the crank angle sensor in, and I said to my, my buddy, I said, oh, did you already take the bolt out? And he said, no, 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 I think you took it out. So we both surmised that um, there was basically no bolt in the crank angle sensor. And what you will see from me turning this around, if you look really closely on here, so there's a lot of marks from where the head of a bolt's been, basically, this little guy was moving around without a bolt in it. It's gonna wibble wobble all over the place, you know? <laughs> so ultimately what happened was because the head soft, the bolt backed out, crank angle sensor moving around and advanced timing so far that um, yeah, she was making good oomph and um, yeah, killed his motor. So anyone that has one of these uh, Mazda uh, BP motors, please, at your nearest convenience, helicoil every bolt on the hot side of your head and um, thus will save your little tiny motor. <laughs>